Hi, my name is Haley, and I have a book buying problem. Ignore my gym stuff over there next to that bookshelf. Anyway, hello, friends, and welcome back to another video. My name is Haley, and today we are going to do another video that is exposing myself. In today's video, we are doing a haul of all of the books that I bought in January, and I did not realize how bad it was until I pulled them all out. Some of these I thrifted. Some of these I did thrift, so at least there's that. Um, but let's just let let's just get into it um so with no like particular order but i well first of all let's start with the one that's not here yet i did pre-order house of um flame and shadow and it will be here tuesday and that should be all the books that i bought this month we have center's playground um this is another one another series by suzanne um valenti and caroline peckham that wrote the um zodiac academy so this is book one. It is a reverse harem. It's a watch use. So um, I bought the next few books in the um, Blood Tie series because even though it is a little Watt Patty, I started the second book. It is better um, than the first one. So we'll see how the rest of the series goes. But as of right now, it's not a DNF. That might change. But here we are. Um, I've already told you about this in a lot in a previous video so I'm not gonna go deep into that all right next up I bought some stuff that some books that were on my 24 and 2024 list and that is daughter of no world by Carissa Broadbent I have no idea what this book is about I just want to read it because I heard like two people talk about it and that's the story of my life like I hear someone talk about it and I'm like add to cart I could see one like quote on TikTok, and I'm like add to cart just so I can read the book and get to that one quote <laughs> But Daughter of No Worlds. I bought Trial of the Sun Queen by Nisha J. Tooley. Um, I know this is supposed to be like a trilogy or something. The first two books are out. I only bought the first one. Go me. Usually I buy an entire series or how many books are out just because that's just I have a problem. But I only bought the first one. So that's good for me. So this one is basically like a competition to see who's going to be the next like queen. Um, it's 10 women, a deadly contest, only one can win the Sun King's heart. And that just, enough said. Enough said. Um, and then you know that I loved Elsie Silver's Chestnut Spring series. So this is the like series that's set before that one. This is about the sister of the brothers. Um, and so I just bought the first one. Um, this is Off to the Races. And I'm excited to jump into this because... At this rate, I would read Elsie Silver's grocery list, so yeah. Um, so I kind of got into like a spending mood of getting books that were reverse harem. And so um, I got A Little Complicated by Kelsey Ray. This is a hockey romance, and I don't know if it's a reverse harem, but I know she gets like two, two love interests, so I'm excited for that. I love Kelsey Ray's hockey romances, like love them so much. I got the first three books in The Boys of Bella Rose. There's four books in the series by um, Jame and even Tate James. This is a reverse harem. Tate James can, like, I would read her grocery list too. I love her Madison Kate series. This is a reverse harem. Um, this is about a girl and um, her ex and his bandmates. They're like in a band. So I'm excited to read this and see where this is. Once again, I know nothing about, most of these I know nothing about. I just bought them because someone talked about them and raved about them or I like saw them in a video or, um, you know, anyway, um, then I got Mariana's Apodas, All Roads Lead Here. This is a single dad romance and I'm very much excited. Um, I've heard nothing but good things about this and uh, Larry Reads loves this book. So that's all I need to know. And then my order came in yesterday. Look at those sprayed edges. I got the recent published version of Gothicana by Runix. Look at those end papers, y'all. I just think it is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And there is like some, let me get to, like there is some like artwork inside, especially when you get to like the chapters. So I'm really excited to read this. I love, I'm loving her Dark Burst series so far. So I'm excited to see kind of what this book is all about this is a dark academia romance so that's all I need to know 
Then I bought the entire Percy Jackson series because I've never read it. I know, I'm late on the game, but my sister is watching the show right now and she was watching an episode when I was over um, at the house last week and I was like, wow, this looks really good. So I wanna read the books before I watch the show, um, just because. Um, and then I got um, The Worst Best Man by Lucy Score. I know that a lot of Lucy Score's backlist is just coming out and being like republished um, traditionally. And this is one of her books that I've never read and so I grabbed it. Um, the bride is a doll, the groom is the perfect gentleman, but the rest of the wedding party, they're the stuff of nightmares. Uh, once again, enough said, add to cart. I'm, I love Lucy Score's writing, so once again. Um, and then I got Scythe by Neil Schusterman. I'm on, um, I've heard a lot of good things about the series. This series is out of my comfort zone because usually I don't read anything unless there's, um, does this have like a, like a subplot of romance? I don't know, but usually I don't read anything unless it has romance in it. And so I'm trying to branch out this year. So I got Scythe by Neil Schusterman. I only bought the first book. I know. Be proud of me. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see what this is about. And it really seems interesting. Um, you know, thou shalt kill a world with no hunger, no disease, no war, no misery. Humanity has conquered all those things and has even conquered death. And now Scythes are the only ones who can end life and they are commanded to do so in order to keep the size of the population under control. So, sounds really, really interesting. And then I bought the first two books in the Devil's Night series. I've already read these, um, but I never finished the series and I've kind of forgotten what happened. So I'm gonna reread these and then I'm gonna buy them as they come out. So, yeah. Um, this is like you either love it or you hate it type series. Like a lot of the stuff that happens in these books, it's like that would never happen in real life, but you know, that's why I read. So that I can, um, you know, escape reality. And then my book of the month picks for January was Dark Matter and the Fury. Um, this was an add-on. I've heard some really great things about this book, so I grabbed it. And then the Fury, I love The Silent Patient by Alex Michaelides. I haven't read The Maidens, but I've heard some good things about this, so I'm really excited to get into it. And then on Pango, I bought Stephen King's 11 63 This is like a time traveling book um, about the um, JFK assassination. So I'm really interested to read this. Um, it's it's a chunker, but I mean the margins are smaller. The text is kind of small, but you know it's okay. But I'm excited to read this. To kind of I've never really I've never read Stephen King before, so now I own two of his books. And so I kind of want to see what his writing is all about. I might even do like a video of like a taste test video. Um, another book I got on Pango is the, is this the Fairy Loot, Fairy Loot edition of Sword Catcher by Chris Broadbent. This is one of the prettiest, I just hit myself in the nose. This is one of the prettiest books I own. And I love it. Once again, I know nothing about it. I just love, uh, not Carissa Broadbent, Cassandra Clare. Um, once again, I know nothing about this book. I just love her writing, and so I grabbed it. And this is her first, like, this is her, like, debut adult romance. So, not adult romance, adult fantasy with a subplot of romance, I believe. So, I'm really excited to get into this. And then another book I got off Pango, this is Fairy Loot edition of If I Have to Be Haunted. This is a romance. I don't know if it's, like, a paranormal romance. But, I don't know. But it is beautiful. I love the sprayed edges, the end papers, like the naked hardback is beautiful. And then we have a reversible dust jacket. So, I have been really into using like the Pango money that I get from selling books. I have been really into using it to buy, to buying special editions just because it's really hard to get on the waiting, like to get on to like the list for those books. And also, when you buy the books, like with the box it's like a surprise I think it's like a surprise you don't know what book you're getting and so um there are like some books I've seen in the box I'm like I'm like I would never read that so this way I can kind of pick and choose I got the first two books in the plated prisoner series by Kennedy Ryan not Kennedy Ryan Raven Kennedy one of these days I will stop messing up those names um I forgot what I was gonna say. 
This is like a King Midas retailing. Um, but I love these additions. They are beautiful. I like them better than the, the... Usually I'm a paperback girly, but not in this case. When all the spines are together, it makes like... Like, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Um, all right. Then, yesterday, I went to Barnes & Noble. Um, there is not a Barnes & Noble near me. There is... Like, the closest one is like an hour and a half to two hours away. And, um, the main office of my job is an hour and a half to two hours away, right near the Barnes and Noble. Um, so I usually, I have to go there once a month and when I go there, I like to just go and browse. And so I actually bought some stuff this time. Um, and by some stuff, I mean quite a few. Um, oh, I have one more book that I got from Amazon and that is A Dark Romance and that is Hawk. I've heard great things about this. And I'm excited to read this. I've been in my like um, reverse harem dark romance era. So I'm excited for it. We're here for it. All right, the first things I got from Barnes and Noble, I got some bookmarks. I got this cute little one. You fell asleep here because I fall asleep reading all the time. It has a little sloth on it. It's so cute. And then I got some magnetic bookmarks because in February I want to track how many pages I read a day. And with these, you can put one of these on the page you started at. That way it's easier to kind of keep track of that. So there's that. And I am really excited about the books I got. All right, here we go. All right, first, I got the Barnes and Noble exclusive edition of Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies. I have never read this and I, okay, so I know a lot of people don't like the deckled edges. I love the deckled edges nine times out of ten as long like as long as the back like totally sounds like I'm gonna hate it I will buy it because I love deckled edges I don't know what it is about it it just scratches something in my brain I don't know it makes it look like vintage I don't know I love it and so I got it um basically this is like a cozy fantasy and I love the way that I don't know I don't know I love this version of it um, it's about a professor who journeys to a town to study fairy folklore and discovers dark fae magic, friendship, and love in the start of this heartwarming and enchanting new fantasy series. So I'm excited to read this. I know the second one just came out. Um, so if I love it, I will be buying the second one. And then I got All's Well by Mona Awad. I read Buddy by Mona Awad. And while after I got done reading that, I was like, well, what did I just read? What just happened? Um, this one sounded really good. It's about Miranda Fitch and um, she, has a, she had an accident that ended her acting career and it left her with excruciating back pain, a failed marriage and a deepening dependence on painkillers. And she's determined to put on Shakespeare's All's Well That Ends Well. And she faces a cast that is hell-bent on staging Macbeth instead. And so it just, I don't know, it sounds good. So I was a theater kid in high school, so this sounds right up my alley. Then I got the Barnes & Noble exclusive edition of Fall of Ruin and Wrath by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Um, this is her new series this is the first book that it just came out recently um this is her new series and um i've heard a lot of great things about it so i'm really excited to jump in and it'll be kind of fun to be like on the front end of a series instead of jumping in when there's like three or four books already out so that you can kind of you know keep up with everything so um i don't really know much about this all that it says long ago the world was destroyed by gods only nine cities were spared separated by vast wilderness teeming with monsters and unimaginable dangers each city is now ruled by a garden a guardian a royal who feeds on mortal pleasure so i don't know it sounds pretty good so I'm excited to read that. And then I heard a lot of good things about this book. And when I read the back of it, I was like, okay, I'm gonna go for it. And that is Half a Soul by Olivia Atwater. And basically this is about a girl that um, only has half a soul. And so she doesn't like get, um, she doesn't like get embarrassed or like things like that. And it says, it leaves her prone to accidental scandal and then she meets someone and it says the longer she spends with him the more she begins to suspect that one may indeed fall in love even with only half a soul does that not sound just so freaking good i'm excited i'm excited 
And then another book that has been on my like radar for a while um, is Monday's Not Coming by Tiffany D. Jackson. And the only thing on the back of this, it says the story of how my best friend disappeared, how nobody noticed she was gone except me, and nobody cared until they found her one year later. Sounds interesting. I'm excited to read this. And then the last book I got at Barnes & Noble was Red Rising. I'm wanting to get more into sci-fi this year. It is a it is a genre that I've never really read and it kind of um, intimidates me. And I've heard a lot of good things about this. I know this book has like blown up this past year and so I'm really excited to kind of read it and see what the whole fuss is about. And the last two, the last two books I actually got today at Walmart. I went to Walmart. Every time I go to Walmart, I just go to the book section and like browse. Um, the first one I got is The Foxglove King by Hannah Witten. This is a fantasy with a subplot of romance. I've heard some good, like I've heard mixed reviews, but I'm excited to read it and see what it's about. Um, it's about a girl named Lore and she's been living by her wits since she was a child running poisons for the cartel that took her in, avoiding attention of the law and keeping her affinity for death magic a secret. When a job goes wrong, she suddenly finds herself thrust into a lavish court where no one can be believed and even fewer can be trusted. Like this, it sounds so good. And so, yeah. And the last book I got was The Serpent in the Wings of Night. Have I already read this? Yes. Do I own the indie published version of it? Yes. But look at this naked hardback. And the indie published version is like over 600 pages long. And this one is, I believe, it's 452. So I'm interested to read this and kind of see what editing changes was made. Because, I don't know. Because the indie published version, while I enjoyed it, just seemed long to me. So I'm excited to kind of read this and see if maybe the editing makes it, I don't know, in more interesting than what it was. But anyway, that is all of the books that I bought in January. It is a lot. Um, I have a book buying problem. Hi, my name is Haley and I have a book buying problem. Um, but yeah, so... Thank you so much for watching. If you have not already subscribed, become a part of my bookish community. It would make my day. And tell me if you like videos like this. I plan on doing one each month. And that way I can kind of, I don't know, keep up with what books um, I'm buying versus what books I'm reading. Because in my reading journal, I have a spot at each month. And I'm excited for February's. Um, because, I don't know, it just does something to my brain. But, like, I have these little bookshelves and so like all the books i buy i'll put here and it kind of will help me keep up with like the books i'm buying and that way i can keep y'all updated on what i've been adding to my tbr and my library and so yeah but anyway thank you so much for watching and i shall see you in my next one